we so sure a, do that. So if a bitch has syphilis, you telling me you're going to fuck with her after she get cured? Yeah. Welcome back to Half That. This is episode 28. Eight. Yeah, we back. Eight. I think but, uh, <laughs> Are you still fucking her if she has syphilis after she get cured? I mean, who am I to judge? You were the person sticking your dick in her. To get yeah, but if, she's, if she already got... If it's cured, then... It's good, you know? Yeah, she doesn't currently have it, right? Yeah, it's fine. I'm completely just, like, stepping back away. <laughs> Bro, there's a lot of people that you know that caught some shit that you don't even know. Yeah, about. cool. Keep that shit. Episode Dive 29. Huh? Right, episode 29. Episode 29? Oh, shit. Let's start this over. Nah, <laughs> what's good. up with y'all? <laughs> 29's cool. Episode 29. Sergio don't know how to count. Yep, I don't. I forget. I forget numbers. You but yeah, we happen. back, y'all. Sorry for that little hiatus for that last episode, but we back. Back and live and We had to show effect. some ladies some love for a whole week. So shout out to the ladies. <laughs> the ladies of half that? The ladies of half that. <laughs> What's up, man? What's How's up, everybody? John? I'm living. You're good? I'm blessed. You know. You're blessed. All right. You? I'm chilling. Chilling, chilling. I feel like they're always chilling, chilling. Yeah. I feel like every episode. So all they ever do is just chill. chill. Yeah. Just yeah. chilling, chilling. Chilling, chilling. Chilling, chilling. <laughs> but uh how's your guys' Valentine's? Let's go, let's go in a row. I'm gonna go with you first. <laughs> Mine, Let's I, go. I wanna, I wanna right, know. I'm gonna tell y'all what I did. <clears throat> Nothing. Saved a lot of money. You saved a lot of money. A lot of money. Well, my dumbass conformed to Western civilization ideas of love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what does that consist of? It consists of spending a whole lot of money for All somebody right. that don't even give a shit about what you just bought them. Because you buy them flowers, where those flowers go? In the trash. You buy them balloons, where them balloons go? In the trash. So it's, it's a, like it's a thought that counts, Devin. That thought came and went, nigga. Like you could have literally just said, "I love you," and they should be happy with that. That's but yeah, I did the whole like rose petals through the door. That's, oh damn, that's candlelight big. dinner at the day at the at the house with the little table cloth and everything. You feel me? That's pretty good. Shout dinner? out to my cousin for setting that up because I had to work. <laughs> you cook dinner, though? Huh? What? Did I cook dinner? Yeah. Fuck no. Benny Hanna's was like, call away, nigga. Man, what, why don't you hit up one of us to set it up? Imagine if you put me ahead of that. That nigga would have had Applebee's. <laughs> that nigga would have had Applebee's two for 20, nigga. <laughs> I would have fucked that whole thing up. Oh, you wanted roses? Oh, man. This nigga give me dandelions and shit. <laughs> a vase full of dandelions. <laughs> you wanted a heart? Why is there a circle in the middle of the bed? I thought... <laughs> oh yeah, I did have like a heart with rose petals on the bed. Put a rose in the middle. I mean, wow, lover boy, man. I could get, I could get romantic when I try. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I didn't do it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I told my cousin to do it. Sent us some money. And came home, and it was done. I thought hey, it was for me. Type a, shit. I walked in. I was like, <sighs> I felt love. It's a thought that counts. You though. forgot that you said. I, that. I, <laughs> I forgot that I was like, oh. And I called her. I was like, you still coming? I was about to have this shit to myself. <laughs> it's a thought that counts. Good for you, man. Yeah. What about you? Shit, I actually got lucky. My girl set the whole thing up. I worked the whole day, so got her some flowers, whatnot. But we we been saving money, so we're keeping it chill. We didn't do too much. I feel it. I yeah. feel it. We got the whole setup, you know, the the rose petals and all whatnot. My girl did all that, so that was mm. cool. She hooked it up. Shout out, shout out to the lady for stepping oh, up for Valentine's Day. She took care of me. That's we need more, y'all. We need more, y'all out here. Good. <laughs> What about you, cameraman? Uh, it was fun. I had to celebrate it a little late, but uh, we just went to the city, got a hotel, and some clown chowder, some Ghirardelli hot mocha, and just look at some views. Ghirardelli, that's the chocolate spot. Yes, sir. It's oh, delicious. Okay, okay, that's nice. That sound like that sound that's like y'all had that sound like some player shit. Y'all had, <laughs> had a view. Good time. Sound like you was downtown, what the Pier Thirty Nine or somewhere down there? Yeah. Shit. Really nice. Damn, walk the walk the whole pier and shit. Oh, yeah. The lights. Oh yeah. That sound romantic That's like romantic a motherfucker. As fuck, man. Shout out, shout out to all the lovers out there, man. man. Shout out to all of them, bro. Damn, my shit was boring as fuck. I didn't do nothing. I was watching Curb My Your Enthusiasm at the crib. Hey. We got we got to shout out to all the single people because you know when Valentine's come around that's like the most depressing yeah. time you feel me for yeah. them single people so yeah, it's like shout say, out to hey, them don't they say that's like Pornhub's biggest day yeah <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they're giving out exclusive on Valentine's I think Day. they give you like like yeah exclusive free exclusive shit don't don't think you know no I don't <laughs> <laughs> that's, on Twitter you guys hear us talking about don't it. Like. don't don't think man. that was your date no nah, it was not <laughs> no date for the no for Pornhub. Actually, 
Oh no, I mean, in general, <laughs> no, I, no, hell no, mm. no. It was, what, it was a Sunday? Nah, yeah. He said, nah, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, that's the holy day. <laughs> <laughs> he said, that's God's day. <laughs> yeah, dude, so I've been, um, actually been working out more. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, I, been, see, I've I see, I see. Uh, I've been, you know, I got a personal trainer. Shout out to that guy. Nice. Fucking. That I was a shout out to the guy huh? person. I was trying to get back into working out. Dude, it, actually, mentally. <laughs> Why can't say it like that? What did, what did you say? Huh? What did you say? Nothing. Mentally, he's helping me out. You know, I feel good. I feel exhausted when I go to sleep. Is he spotting you? <laughs> yeah, he's spotting me. So when you're done with him, you're exhausted? Yeah. Is it like your back hurts after? Yeah, actually. Your legs? Deadlift, nice. squats. Hey, yo. Yeah. Fam. Hey, but yo, I wanted hey, to bring yo. that up because you know how we used to talk about how like guys... Like always, constantly like flame emojis with girls in the DMs. Mm -hmm. This fucker, bro. I've never seen girls DM so many guys, like a guy so much in like their DMs. Mm -hmm. Girls are just as thirsty as guys, bro. I swear to God, like you, we'd be at the gym and you just post something. All these girls all over, just flame emojis, hard eyes, some shit the guys would do. Yeah, yeah. I, I did not know. I would never thought that girls are the same thing just as guys. Are. Really? Because I, you, you gotta understand, like. <clears throat> Just like how girls take that picture like they're the prize, you could say a dude would take their picture yeah. like and show what the, the what the girl likes. Yeah, so I they gonna be just as thirsty. In my eyes, I, I ain't taking no picture with my shirt off, trying to get no hard. So you are saying if you yeah. had a, a six pack, you wouldn't? Nah, I probably take my shirt off. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold, on, hold on, I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna bring. You gonna this go up. back to high school? No, no, no. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna bring this up because you did used to have a shirtless picture on your Facebook page on your profile. I did? Yeah, remember? Didn't he have it? Like the Marnie Exchange shit? shit? You want to show his tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> I'm showing my tattoo, not my chat, not my, my, my abs. Hold nigga. on, hold on, pause. Let's, let's, let's stop right here. Your tattoo is like on your arm, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to take your own shirt off. Fam, don't make me take my shirt off right here because I got a chest tattoo and an arm tattoo. <laughs> that's that's not the one that. At the time, hey, you that's... only had a chest. Or a uh, fucking arm. That's a lie because I had my chest before my arm. No, the arm was the one because it was the. So I was like this? <laughs> Yeah, no, you, were like, you were like this or something bro, like. you want me to find it? Go find it, nigga. I'll, I'll find it. All right. Find it. It's going to pop up right here. Make sure y'all go can, follow me, too, if y'all going to see my picture. If I can find it. Hmm? Devin reported his own picture on that one. But, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, niggas not going to find it right after this episode. I'm going to delete that bitch. Hold on. Let me log in. <laughs> but yeah, quick. man. That's what I found out going doing all this shit. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Man, that's, that blew yeah. my mind. No, I always, well, not always, but I recently been thinking like, Girls and guys are like ninety percent similar and ten percent different. That's What's the ten percent? What? Was What's the ten percent? It was like genetics. We don't care anymore. <laughs> we don't care as much. You know. So. I gotta say, I think like the way we show affection is way different between men and female. Which nah, I'll talk. Hello, affectionate. What you mean? No, but but not not being affectionate, just how you show it. How, like I explain oh, yeah, how yeah, like men were. What do you I see y'all Well, I, I want to hear what y'all think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What y'all think? What, you right. think it's different? Or you think it's the same thing? Affection? Yeah, like how we show it versus how women show it. Women show it totally different. Like, I, I could be talking some way and like doing something and they're just like, you just don't care. I'm like, what? What do you mean I don't care? I clearly Bro. like, you know what I mean? Shit like that. It's just like, I clearly- That's not affection though. Well, I mean, okay, I'm. What's a, like affection? Like, I guess everybody has a different. What is it? The four different love languages or whatever the fuck. It's like touch, affirmation. I, I um, was just talking about this the other day. I, I forgot that. No, like I just. But, I, I went down <clears throat> the, the senses of like touch, see, smell. Like I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'd be like, "Yo, you're cute." You know, it's, that's enough affection for you. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, like, what do they want? Like, you want nah, me like, to like write it out and send you a letter saying you're cute? No, affection is like you gotta you gotta want to do something for something. Yeah, you gotta want to do that. You gotta have forward thinking of how they feel. Like if what I'm about to do is gonna make her feel that type of way or if I say this is gonna make her feel good, am I gonna boost her confidence? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? She wearing a certain type of outfit. Let me notice that. Or she put her hair a certain way. Let me notice that so she could feel, you know, a certain way. Oh like oh I like your pants today. Like you look good in your pants? See, that's a different type of way of showing affection right then and there. Because that mm -hmm. was bland as fuck. Oh, I like your pants today. And then she goes, hmm, thank you. But if you're like, damn, girl, you look hella good in your pants. Come here real quick. She like, ah, get away from me. And then she on some whole other different vibe now. Gotcha. You know what okay. I'm saying? Yeah. I'll just See, put this sense. nigga up on game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a different type of affection right there. Yeah. I see it. I see it as that. Like, make her feel comfortable. What about you? You like getting an affection towards you? Hell yeah. I love that. 
Touch me, baby. <laughs> Touch my body. Love that shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Rub my face, like, you know, caress my head. I like that shit. When I'm relaxing, when we relaxing, just, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You like that little grab ass? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Pause, nigga. What the fuck you talking so about? So, girl can't grab your ass? Nah. That's don't weird. Don't do that. Don't do that. Right. Nah, that, not that type of affection, nigga. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you good? Yeah. You like that type of affection? I mean, I don't like getting my ass grabbed. <laughs> I thought, he was gonna be say, I thought he was gonna say, I don't have no problem with it. No, nah, I mean, I don't like getting my ass grabbed. What about you, cameraman? What? I feel like this is <laughs> right up your alley, nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> you like it? Like, that type of affection. Like, yeah, I wouldn't mind it. You wouldn't mind so it? You're, no. So, a girl just came up to you and like, What's up, baby? Just slap you in your ass? Oh, my girlfriend, yeah. You, you all for it. it? You all for that? Yeah, why not? Like, that wouldn't be uncomfortable for you? Because it's like, there's no. the stigma of, like, I see, like, a couple of memes, like, say if, like, a girl smack, like, you smack your girl in the ass, say if she, like, picking something off the floor, you be like, ah, what's up, baby, boom. Yeah. You know what I mean? But say you, like, reach it in the, in the refrigerator, kind of, like, bending over, and yeah. she on some, hey, nigga, what the fuck wrong yeah. with you? Don't be smacking my booty. If I booty. do it to her, she can do it to me. Hey, yo. All right. I think it's cool. Got to curb your enthusiasm, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what about the regulator over there? I mean... It happens. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but what am I gonna do? He's regulating that. <laughs> no, it's like that little like little like, smack. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Pax. Yeah, I'm just, I, I'm not, I'm not down for either one, but I'm just saying that. Are you guys talking about both? So I'm talking about both. Slack, okay. there's, there's both. Ain't like, like they try to play and do that shit. Like I'd be like, "Think what you do it." Like, yeah, yeah she'll no. do it. I like, "Nigga, stop playing around." Yeah, see that right. shit. They they do that to yeah. bug us. Yeah. Like, yeah, my girl does it to shit. annoy me. I'm like, whatever. Oh, maybe not grab a. Sl- I would have mind slap, but grabbing is like, oh, what are you doing? Go away. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't never. I ain't never experienced a grab. I never experienced the grab. Yeah, I mean, should have out of pocket. <laughs> well, <laughs> the news. <laughs> no, the news. <laughs> um, Dave Chappelle's free. Finally got his money from Comedy Central. Paid that man after fucking crying. We like, like, no. We, we helped him. I we helped. Him, so should we get some of that? Uh-huh. Nah, bro, that's his money. We did. Did we create it? No, we didn't create it. But he signed away his rights. So why should he be crying back for something he signed away? Yeah, but mm. he still got mm. his money. He still got his name back too. He still got his money. Still he got, got his and name he got back. his name back and all the shows back on Netflix. So it's not that strong arming. Yeah, now, he's, still, he's still getting. He's getting a portion of it too. That's so. strong arming, bro. You just strong armed the whole company. Finally, the people. The people finally, the people that. won. <clears throat> the people won that one. Yeah. Or Dave Chappelle won that Dave one. Dave Chappelle won that one. He that deserved was, that. That was he a selfish that. move. And yeah. He used us to do it. A selfish move on his part. Yeah, good on him. I mean, Good I, on him. I, I, all right, cool. Kudos money. to him. He got his thing. But here's how I'm saying it. You use the people, your power of the people, to get something that you signed away. But they took advantage of him. All right, fam. I, how, I don't see how uh, that is taking advantage when you signed. It was a contract. Yeah. Nobody really reads Bro, have contract. you ever <laughs> read a contract? They signed away because they were trying to make him, uh, they were trying to write skits when he said he wanted to Right, and that's when he walked away from it. Yeah, but right. he got fucked because he didn't read his original contract. Mm-hmm. He his lawyers who were given to him by, by I think the, by by, by a com, yeah. uh, basically were like, yeah, everything's good. It's standard practice, you know, whatever. So he just went with what they said. So oh, he got it's fucked. Good. Yeah, but that's how it usually happens in the, that's, that's how industry. it happens in the music industry. Yeah. yeah. They have they have the paid lawyers and these lawyers come to so, to you and be like, all right, he doesn't know shit, but I'm going to pretend to help him, but I'm benefiting the the, the big company. So so for me, I think about it like that's a win for <clears throat> for creatives in general. Yeah, because creatives are always getting fucked over by people who don't make shit. But hold, hold all up. they do is just put it out that's there. That's only if you have the power of Dave Chappelle, though. That's not just a right, win but it's for a, it's a step creatives. in the right direction. Yeah, right. but you gotta have that Dave Chappelle name to even try to win back your rights. This nigga walked just, away from thirty million. He did that, came back and got that thirty million. Probably got more than thirty million. But it nah. proves it could be done, though. That's what you know. But who's gonna be at the stature of Dave Chappelle? I mean, I mean, like that's all I'm saying. Like that that happened to a point 
yeah, that's kudos for him, but that didn't open up the door for no one else. Yeah. Like, yeah, they got to start paying attention to their contract more. They got to start writing better brings contracts. Awareness. That yeah. brings awareness to that, where they got to set up the whole contract better for the creative. But it's like, it's still, it's like, that's a selfish move when you use the power of the people to do that shit. I, I mean, I, I supported it. I didn't watch any Chappelle Yeah, show. I disagree, but... I mean, I, 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 I understand your Chappelle opinion. Before, I, and I'm going to watch it after because this shit is funny and it's entertainment. But it's like, all that business behind the door shit, nigga, that's what you signed. Nigga, that's, that's your business. I mean, I guess you're right. It's like Lauren Hill. She sold her fucking rights to her music. She can't even perform her shit no more. Really? Can Damn. we get her music back? Can we do that shit, nigga? Well, she hasn't pushed for it. Know what I'm saying? But that, that'd be... Dave Chappelle so asked, that's why. He asked everybody. He was like, please, don't do it. Mm. So, you know, if you don't yeah. ask, you I mean, close mouths don't, yeah, don't get fed. don't get fed. You got so a point. He asked the people, and the people actually help. So, yeah, your point is, you got a point, right? You right. Yeah. Yep. Um. So, what, what movie I watched over the weekend was uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. You seen that, that was shit? a great movie. I watched that shit like twice. Right? Yeah, I heard, dude, <laughs> fucking hell. You guys watched never it? seen it. Uh, never seen no. it. I don't That's but recent. It came out recently. Yeah, yeah. recent. It's yeah. um, it's about Fred Hampton. Yeah, story on the Fred. Uh, he was the chapter leader at the, the Black in, Panthers in Illinois. In Illinois and Chicago. So, mm-hmm. He was. It was interesting, dude. I never learned about him. So he started. Well, <clears throat> Huey P. Newton started the Black Panthers in the chapter that was in Chicago, Illinois. Like he was saying, uh, Fred Hampton was the chairman of that, and he was infiltrated by. Don't get to this, don't remember the dude's name, but he was infiltrated by somebody that was hired by the CIA and set him up, and they killed him in his sleep. And that was like some, you, if you watch cold the movie, it's some cold, cold shit. Oh, the one who got killed by like right next to his wife or something. Yeah. Right next to his wife, bro. Yeah. Dude, right you know what? He wife. this the thing that was most impressive about that whole thing. He was leading a fucking whole chapter, and he was only twenty one. 21 and he was he was bringing like everybody together it yeah, wasn't just like <clears throat> solid just one one culture yeah, one he, race it was like a rainbow coalition he brought like, the he, latinos he and everybody together the whites yeah. all so together. it was something it was something against like they really had something against like everybody coming together so <clears throat> well that's the thing like, <clears throat> like the unity the that's, seat. that's the strength yeah, yeah, yeah. strength that's not common knowledge yeah the fbi was like they were like oh we can lock him up and then like the head of the fbi was like we lock him up he mm-hmm. just becomes more of a hero. Yeah. And mm-hmm. even in jail, he had mm-hmm. a whole system too. System he won, he had the jail with him too, mm-hmm. backing him. So he was really powerful. And so the people, I mean, the fucking feds were just like. So if I, I was spoiler alert, if y'all didn't see that movie, but if y'all haven't, go watch that now, HBO Max. Or so if y'all got oh, like yeah, a HBO. fire stick, you know, go stream that motherfucker. That's a good ass movie, man. Down. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's about like two hours, but good ass movie. You never learn about Fred Hampton. I never Definitely, learned. definitely a dope movie. Definitely a dope movie. Up there with Malcolm X. Mm. It's definitely hmm. one of the tops. I'm going to check that. I'm going to check that. <coughs> Going to something lighter, though. I watched uh, How High for the first time not too long what ago. The what the hell? What? Yeah. You never watched How High? Oh, no, no fam. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm a ghost, 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 ghost. <laughs> God damn. That. I need money. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you never seen How That's crazy. That movie is so good. damn. That movie was so good. Woo! It was funny. I didn't enjoy That's it. That's a great that movie. That's great. That was a great movie. <laughs> didn't they come out with a second one or something? Yeah. Oh. Then then do, then do no, it justice. It was, but I, was Method Man and Red Man part of it? No, right? I don't believe so. No, it was some other I don't believe actors. It was uh, Lil Yachty and oh, DC no. Young Fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it was. <laughs> Shout out to DC. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely was a whack movie. It wasn't yeah, it was as good whack. as uh, the first one. Let's just say that. Classic. Nothing was, nothing, the second, the prequel or the sequel to everything, the sequel to everything, isn't <laughs> as good as the first one. Terminator 2, better than the first one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's an exception. I stand, mm-hmm. cor- I stand correct. Because <laughs> I don't even watch Terminator. I've never seen that. Watch the Terminators. Gears 2. Better than Video game. Fuck yeah. Gears. Gears of War. Halo. Video game. Oh. <laughs> All right, fam. That just named two weird ass shits that I ain't never watched. You got me. <laughs> You never seen Terminator 2? Nah. Really? Nah. Yeah, it's like like one of the only films that is better than the first. I had a yeah, yeah. I had somebody at my old job, my manager used to always tell me watch Terminator. Yeah. But that nigga was always a fucking weirdo. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I'm definitely not about to watch that shit. Um I wanted you guys see that uh those houses being built in LA? Oh no. For homeless people? So shout out to that. Homeless people are getting uh, 
their own houses out there. For free? Who's building it? The government? Uh, How is it going to be? I think it's funded by like donations and stuff. Oh. Where? Is, yeah. And are they like... What They're kind just of small houses? houses. They have like a little... Uh, is it like, have, like studios? A, probably like the size of this room. Okay. Um, so like studios then? Yeah. Uh, are you telling me... And they're like, think of those like containers, you know, those, those shipping containers, yeah, kind of like that. They just but make like it cut, cut up into like oh, multiple rooms. Okay, but it's like it's like bunk beds and shit. How how much space is this taking up? Is it gonna be like the whole skid row, something like that? I don't know. Is it is up. it? Are they paying or when is it like? Are they charging our rent tax dollars? No. paying for this. No, <laughs> oh, okay. it's, it's like donations. <laughs> huh. Our tax dollars is paying for. We're paying part. for shipping container houses. I mean, why not? If it's if it's if it's in the area. If you're gonna house them, I mean, all you're doing is creating a cesspool. That's all I see. Because that's just gonna be a cesspool of drugs. Yeah. And then and sex. I said <laughs> cess, cesspool. No, I'm just saying, and sex. A bunch uh, of yeah, homeless yeah, people gonna be some... fucking each other. Yeah, that's basically it's a soup the, kitchen. The, 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 uh, what's that thing in the Brazil? I forgot the. Brazil? The. What the fuck are they call it? Yo. Uh, it, mm, Hostels? No. Huh. It's like those houses that are built out of like just. Um, corrugated roofs and yeah mm. the favelas the, oh i know what you mean though yeah I know what you're talking about, I know yeah. what, you're talking about. what is it the same yeah. thing same more concept? or less it's yeah uh that was built by them i guess and this yeah. is like an area for them you know what i mean they yeah. build an area for them i guess but yeah i see the, the yeah, concept i hope i hope you know they upkeep it though i hope our tax dollars don't like i'm not too sure if it's going to be funded by our tax dollars <laughs> or going to be funded by donations so there's that <sighs> Yes, yeah. we shall see. Here's Donations. Actual houses. It's actually, kind of speaking of which, y'all see that documentary about uh, what's that girl oh. that had the crazy video? I know exactly. Oh, Lisa the, Lamb. Lisa. I don't know if it's what's Lisa that? Lamb. With it's the Lisa elevator Lamb. hotel. Oh, Lisa Lamb. Yeah, yeah hotel. Uh, hotel. Uh, what's that? No. Cecil. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. On Netflix, right? She was found in the water tower. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what's yeah. this about? Spoiler alert. Yeah. Spoil- Man, that shit was out for like <laughs> how many months? If you ain't watched that shit, you under the rock. Is it on Netflix? It's yeah, it's definitely Netflix on Netflix. Like, you haven't watched it? I just no. seen it like two weeks ago. I never watched it, bro. What's it about? It's about this one foreign exchange chick. No, she was just traveling. She was from Canada. Dude, she came here. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. She was okay. Asian. My bad. It's about, this, it's about this girl that was traveling from Canada. Wait, she was Asian? Yeah, she was yeah. an Asian mm-hmm. Canadian. And she's traveling from Canada. A foreign exchange student. And uh, <laughs> she's not a foreign exchange student. Well, my my bad. No, Siri, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Anyway, she came, she came to like get a little getaway. She stayed at this hotel. By herself. This cheap yes, ass hotel by herself. Where, she was like what 21, 22, 20 23 years old. But this hotel that she stayed at, part, sorry to part, jump, jump in. Oh. That was like where the most murders, like the most. It was right off Skid Row. And right shit. off Skid Row, like Ted. And, uh, in LA? Ted Bundy. Didn't said that uh, Ted? I think like they said, hella serial killers. The dude stayed from there. the night, the night the walk. The Dal- Black yeah. Dahlia. Yeah, they all um, stayed at this hotel. That Nightcrawler, the one they yeah. have the Netflix about. He stayed there. Yeah. There is hella like people that. So Basically, it was a fucked up hotel from yeah. the jump. Yeah. They said, like, the manager said she she didn't know a room in the hotel mm. that somebody didn't die in. Right. Jesus Christ. Like, it was that many. Because of how overdoses, the hotel down. like, you name it. What the mm-hmm. fuck? Why would yeah. you stay there? It was the cheapest. It was, like, for the, in the way they made it seem on, like, when you book yeah. it from outside, it was, like, this They made glorious... a separate entrance, mm-hmm. and they, they named no, it that a was different after. hotel. No, that was, that was after she but that's, died. that's how she booked it. No, no, no. They booked it because they... they they just highlighted as this glorious. Oh, she stayed. Bro, did you watch the documentary? I watched the documentary because the app, it's only after she stayed there that she died. They they split it in two. Um, did she die? No, it was not yes. after. Yeah. No, it was. <laughs> it was not after. I, well, well af- I, maybe I. I'm, I, I'm gonna look whatever. it up right now. Anyway, <laughs> no, you fine. don't have to look it up. Whatever. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> well, so so, so she story. got to the hotel. <laughs> so she got. To- so anyway, she disappears. Okay. And this video, they released the footage of the one video, the last video they had mm-hmm. seen her, and she's in the elevator. Tripping. And she, she goes into the elevator, mm-hmm. and she just starts pressing, like, hell buttons mm-hmm. in the elevator, and then she starts looking out the elevator door like somebody's chasing her. Right. It's a trip. And there's, then the elevator's not moving. Yeah. The door stays open for, like, a good two, three minutes. If you watch the mm-hmm. video, it's a, it's a trip. First thing, go watch the video. I'm going to cut you off. I'm going to cut you off. It's a point where, like, after all of this happens and everybody watches the video, everybody, it's like a social media, like, viral moment. Mm-hmm. Everybody's traveling to this hotel 
looking at the uh, investigating at, like, like being, investi- trying being to serve the mur- so- trying to solve the murder they sell what, what do they call them they had a name for them I forgot it's like that show. cats anyway. documentary it is yeah, like it's that. definitely it just like, like that, that. Yeah. yeah cats documentary don't, yeah, fuck, with don't, cats. Fuck, with don't cats. fuck with cats look yeah. it up a oh, great documentary definitely love great documentary <laughs> 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 i love that <laughs> but yeah so they kept investigating and like so was she just high off drugs bro this that's basically what they said she was hallucinating or some shit like that she had um like the severe form of bipolar disorder oh, mm. shit. and so she was like hearing people probably talking to her right she basically was like off her meds too when she mm-hmm. got there she like went off her meds and uh they found they said, out like later that she had a history of that like she would yeah. get off her meds a lot and shit she would be so, tripping out on people because yeah. in this hotel like they'll start you like bunking with somebody else like you could share rooms right. with people in this hotel so like she would be like going bad on like people like get out, leave, leave. Uh, oh yeah, some shit like so that. They had so to move like her to a room, like by herself, room. type shit. What? In a hotel, she was, she was tripping on her roommates. She was then, like, get out, mm-hmm. like get so out of my room. This chick literally just went to Skid Row mm-hmm. and just not knowing it was Skid Row, she booked a hotel, like just seeing, oh, this is a cheap place to stay yeah, in LA. I want to travel. Yeah, she mm-hmm. didn't know Skid Row to be Skid Row. She wasn't mentally stable. Why would she, she just travel? Bro, she was missing for like what two weeks. And then what do those people say? They turn on the water. It was oh yeah, it was, brown. Yeah, they, these people that were staying in the hotel, they was like turn on the water. They, they were brown, drinking it, up, drinking it, and shit like that. So was it turns her? out she turns, was she was in the water tower. Turned out they found that bitch in the water tower, bro. Uh, and they're drinking it. Yep. They drinking it. She. They said, yo, it was crazy how like how I did guess, she get like, in the water she, tower? Exactly. They like said that she climbed up there. And they said Drowned that she, she went in the water tower and there's no way to climb back out. And when people use the water, the, the water fluctuates. So she probably just like couldn't get the, get out after the water went down and she must have just drowned in that motherfucker. Yeah, they said. And then <laughs> the, the thing that tripped them out too is she was naked. Yeah. You know, and they were like, so this doesn't make sense. Like, why mm, would she be naked? naked? But then they basically debunk mm. everything. Yeah, right? they debunk like, everything. She, she probably was hella heavy in her clothes. Mm-hmm. So she stripped down hoping to like way less were her clothes stay floating yeah. yeah they were in there okay. that mm-hmm. basically clogged it because the people said that the, the, the water. water pressure went down yeah. and the water was like nasty brown mm-hmm. so oh. the sweater was like caught in a drain or something Dude, this is straining her blood yeah <laughs> bro what is this doctor this crazy, yeah, this is crazy. Is one of my friends told me this like this like uh story like this like theory or whatever we'll have like theory. she was playing the uh elevator game what was that it's uh, it's too complicated to explain if you wanted to look it up. What's the elevator game? It's like some, it's like some, uh, like Bloody Mary kind of stuff. Oh, I'm definitely not playing that. Thing. It's like you oh, go no. into the elevator, you push all the buttons, and then you go up and down, up and down. If you come out, and then you can come out the elevator, but you cannot turn around because some something or another. And then if it goes to the tenth floor or something, you're good. But if it goes to the bottom, you're supposed to leave the building, not turn around, just get the fuck out of there. Why? Something like spirits know. come out there or some shit? Something like that. I don't Sound know. Sound like some other shit. I'm cool. I don't like those type of games. Yeah. You want me to read this shit? <laughs> Is it long? It's like eight steps. Enter the elevator alone or with a friend. Do not get out on any floors if any outsiders get on the elevator. You'll need to start over. Damn. Okay. So good luck. <laughs> uh, number two, proceed to the fourth floor. Number three, descend to the second floor. Four, proceed to the sixth floor. Five, return to the second floor. Six, ascend to the tenth floor. Seven, return to the fifth floor. When you reach the fifth floor, it's then that people report encountering a young woman. You're instructed not to look at or Get interact with her. Get the fuck out of here. I just call wait goosebumps. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She <laughs> may or may not try to uh, talking to you, asking for help or antagonizing you. Uh, number eight. Press the button for the first floor. Two things might happen. If the elevator descends to the first floor, exit immediately and do not look back or speak. Um, If the elevator starts to go up, you've been allowed into the other world. When you reach the 10th floor, things might look slightly different. No one else will be there. The power might be out. Some players claim to look out windows and see only a red cross in the distance. If you choose to exit the elevator, you should ignore the woman's attempts to question or stop you. Whoa, then they got a whole section for returning yeah, from the other world. Yeah, you definitely got me fucked up. I'm yeah. cool off of all hey, of that. What are you talking about? Did you die? I'm good. I'm good. I don't know. This I don't little, even play that Bloody Mary shit. I don't like that Candy Man shit. I don't that's like that. Crazy. None of that shit. Nigga, that's that's I never heard of that game. That's a wild game. <laughs> yeah. 
Sounds and, stupid to me. <laughs> you playing with spirits and shit, cuz. I'm good. I'm, I'm not cool. Doing that. But that's not since we was talking fun, about movies, back to movies it sounds like none <laughs> of that bullshit. Back to that Malcolm and Mary shit. Yeah. Did y'all see that? I didn't get to see it. Bro. You saw it? I watched it. I sat through that whole shit, it? fam. I actually liked it. Really? Yeah. I actually liked that drama shit. Like that that whole like it was in black and white, the art of it, and then like the whole like aspect of him using her and her realizing that whole shit. You just gotta watch the movie. It just I thought it was a masterpiece. Mm. As in like like concept of like But was it hard to watch? Not to me. Cause I was like exactly. <laughs> but then it was points like they're arguing and it's like it's relationship argument. So it's like if you in a relationship and it's points where it's like you arguing with your female or you debating with your female, it's like you could understand those points. And then there's points where she starts saying back to him and it just make you realize certain points as a man. So it's like, I fuck with that movie. Mm. It's a, it probably would be a hard one Malcolm to sit Marie. through. Oh, Malcolm Marie? Yeah, I watched that shit. Oh no. I watched it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> It's, it's really, it's, it's on some shit where you got to sit through some argument, but as no, long no, as it ain't arguing exactly. with me, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the actor's name? Uh, Malcolm something. Malcolm, Malcolm Washington. 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 Malcolm Washington. Malcolm something he, Washington. Yeah, it's weird. His an, uh, his aneurysms are very similar to his dad's. We're almost mm. exactly the same. So aneurysms? you watched it? No. Yeah, like the way he speaks. A aneurysm? Like mannerisms? Mannerisms. <laughs> yeah, aneurysms. Yeah, aneurysms. My bad. My bad. Wow, I, I knew what you were saying, but like I didn't catch yeah. the, the fuck up. But yeah, like he <laughs> Damn, speaks very That was very a big fuck up right there. <laughs> acts the same way and like with the same like, uh, I don't know how to describe it, like emphasis on specific mm. words and words in a sentence and things right. like that. Right. I just seen the movie Denzel Washington called The Little Things. This is, I thought that was a pretty dope movie too. It was like some... I don't know if I've seen that. Yeah, yeah just on, on HBO, some shit like that. I love HBO. HBO is probably the best streaming mm -hmm. site right now. All right, I have a question for each and one of you guys. Um, motherfucker. What is your guys' favorite conspiracy theories? Huh. The Illuminati. No, well, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go one by one. Um, and we'll, we'll, how do we start this? We'll start off with the uh, conspiracy. Remember. Does Bigfoot count? Yeah. Is that your favorite? It's, it's funny. So do you People, think he's real? No. Like, these are conspiracy theories that you believe in, though. I mean, I suppose. I don't know. Why can't it be your favorite just because you yeah. think it's funny? Yeah, All I right. think it's funny. It's like, you ever want to see someone fail at a job? Go watch, like, Finding Bigfoot. They never do. Oh, yeah. It's funny. They just fail at trying to find big trying people. to find some bullshit. But what do you hear? You know all those noises and shit. That shit's that's it could be anything. That's like like the chupacabra. Yeah, is that real? <laughs> Goat sucker. It is uh, allegedly. You ever see? Uh, I forgot what I saw, but Gotta it was like relax. some <laughs> specific wild Mexican dog or something that looked hairless like, or something. I could be wrong. Those are actual dogs, though. Yeah, but yeah, like so that was a chupacabra. I mean, if you see some something like that at night where it's super skinny, has no fur or anything, and and just like, walking and they kind of like Doberman Pinchers. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, but with no hair. Yeah, I like the conspiracy theories where you like really got to go out of your way to believe it. Like the <laughs> shit, I usually I don't believe it. And it's not something not. I believe. You know what I'm saying. So but what's like, one like of your the favorites? flat, earth. like flat earth, bro. Like, That's your favorite. On. Like you really, fam. I'm I'm sorry, bro. Fam, bro. you really got to be ignoring a lot of fam. shit. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff you're ignoring too. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Like, hold so on. Stuff you're ignoring too, fam. Hold on. Hold like on. what? So his yeah. favorite. Is the flat I just earth. ain't ignoring science. So okay, he's he, <laughs> technically I'm with him. I'm against flat earthers. So that's his, one of his favorites. But you you actually think the word is flat. I don't know. Uh, you, you he's got to call now. He won't I don't know. I don't know. Don't show that same energy. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't see when I go on the plane. I don't see the curvature in the, really? in the, in the earth. Huh. You know what I'm saying. What's your favorite conspiracy? Then my favorite conspiracy. I got like I got one that I hate so much, mm. and it is one that I like. I'm really interested in. Okay. So I'm gonna go with the one I'm interested in is like the uh, Illuminati. That conspiracy, like where how like everybody is like giving up somebody, sacrificing somebody, or like they're doing some like. Your favorite artist is on some gay shit or some mm. shit. It's like, yo, yeah. who is this? Yeah, yeah. Who is the person? Who you gave up to yeah. get here? So it's like, I, that shit is interesting. Mm. But the one I hate is like the 9-11 one. Uh, like the, the beams and stuff like that. It's like, bro, people died. Well, I do no. believe that uh, there there was bombs at the bottom. Because back when they first got attacked, they, I believe they said they put like some type of like bombs at the bottom to stop it from, when it does fall, it tilts and goes straight down. So that's mm. what I do believe mm. in some shit like that. Like you believe they put it there as a fail safe. Yeah. Okay. But if it, because mm. <clears throat> I mean, for it to fall, it would have to be at the. 
it would need to be hit at the bottom for it to like timber over, right? But like bro, I hit the top. jet fuel can't burn at that temperature. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fan. <laughs> Fan. I don't even like I watch it and I see it. I just get so mad and I'm like, bro, I saw that shit happen, fam. Yeah. So it's like, fuck is you talking about? Did you, did you ever watch that movie, uh, Zeitgeist? Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah, I had, watched like, like all of them. Yo, that had me believing, bro. That shit had me believe hella shit. Yeah, like like uh, the religion shit. Like yeah. all the religions have the same bro. Yeah, pattern and all that. That shit was crazy. She had me question everything. Yeah. I think people overlook. The fact, I mean, I guess not really a conspiracy anymore, but fucking aliens, bro. Yeah. Like, it's not a conspiracy. Can we talk about how that was a conspiracy and now it's like kind of like it's just, real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's aliens. Think the universe is. So it what? Are, so what are the what? Are, oh, hold on, let's go to you. What are your favorite conspiracies? All right, I have like two. Yeah. One, I'm bringing it back all the way because I just got sucked into it. Hey yo, first did it. Pause. Oh my god, what the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? <laughs> so <laughs> fuck out of here. What, what <laughs> Shouldn't never ask that nigga that question. <laughs> yeah. Basically, what the regular is saying because when you get deep into something and you just like constantly researching and just go to different like the rabbit articles. holes and shit. Mm-hmm. So it was the um, Pizza Gate. That shit. Oh, yeah. I wasted a lot of my life on that. That's <laughs> the one with the pedophile. Was just on like yeah. Wayfair and shit like that. Bro, I, I, I le- oh, that was crazy. I legit like. I legit <laughs> wasted a lot of my life. Look, like going into shit, trying to connect everything. I'm like, oh my god, it's like web browsers of shit. I'm just like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. And it's like, why am I? Wa-? That's that's one of them. That's the, the other one is um, kind of like the like the Truman Show. You know how oh, everything's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, oh like a simulation kind everything's of everything's a simulation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I that, makes, that, that makes me think, bro. It's like, fuck. Like, is it? Because I wouldn't know. I mean, everything is a simulation now. Instagram and shit. You yeah. living through yeah. Yeah. Whole it really is. Mode. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's ahead of its time. I I thought. It's like because that's like it relates to the Matrix, you know. Like how the Matrix is just what the fuck? Yeah, the Truman. It's like <laughs> Neil, Neil. Neil was the one that was trying to break. He had no idea that he was in a yeah. The Truman. The Truman Show was everyone knew who he was. Thank you. Okay. But the, yeah. but That's where I got. I they were doing the it for a TV show. Yeah. Though, so where'd you right? catch yeah. the, the, the Matrix? It was, it was a simulation. simulation. Same kind of idea. Yeah. Simulation. You yeah. know, everybody knew, like, they asked him, like, do you want to keep living this life or do you want to break it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, and that's when Neil. Just like it. Avatar too. then. For real? I didn't watch Avatar. Which Avatar? Like the last airbender? No, nah, like, Avatar no, with, with the blue, blue dudes. Okay. Yeah. When niggas was going into a whole different. Yeah. Simulation. <laughs> they were, no, it's not a, I mean, they were just into a different body. Yo, how would that feel, man? What if like everybody you knew was just an actor? No. Oh well. <laughs> That'd be crazy. The fuck. I don't like that feeling. <laughs> just everybody in this room's an actor. Your life yeah. is a movie. You're <gasps> a pretty boring actor, huh? No, I was paid to be his friend for so oh. long. That'd be crazy, right? Damn. I'll be like, bro, where's my money at? <laughs> Fuck that, bro. Like, <laughs> you got paid to be my friend? Where's this money? Who you got paid from? That's pretty funny. That'd be, that'd be crazy. That'd be that, that shit something that keeps me up at night. I just think you shit like that. It keeps you up at night? Mm-hmm. Really? No. I'm over What if I'm Truman? I think it could be me. I think I remember something about, uh, remember the Matrix, like when he finds that room full of all the like fucking video, uh, the TVs mm-hmm. and the shit at the end. It's like, maybe the like third one. Mm-hmm. I think that was like a correlation to Truman Show. It was like a sh- mm-hmm. like a homage because at, at the end, doesn't he find a room like that or some shit? Yeah, he does it with a bunch of TVs. Yeah, and everybody's like being watched and shit. Yeah. It's crazy. The Matrix was crazy. It took me so long to understand one. that movie when I was a kid. <laughs> Still don't understand that movie. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. I, I was like, oh, this it. nigga moving in slow motion. This nigga stop bullets. This shit is hella cool. I'm about right. to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga shooting hella, hella people. This this bitch jumped through a window. <laughs> yeah. I like the part where that bitch came in and went, uh, jumped up. She said, Phew. it just kicked that nigga and the nigga flew. What was that bitch named Trinity? Trinity. Trinity. Oh, yeah. What was the- Trinity! <laughs> what was no. the guy's, Agent Smith? Those the- Agent Smith. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are the guys that's bad. Mr. Guy. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> They're supposed to come out with another one or something, right? I don't know. They bet not. I think so, right? They, yeah, that's why they were filming in San Francisco. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. You. Man, what they, the, they, I, they, they went into some whole they, shit. They, Somebody had like white dreadlocks and shit like that. I remember yeah, seeing some shit twins. like that. I don't know what they were about, but there was twins. Yeah, I did not watch that movie. But there was some dope scene where he like was about to get hit by a car. Nigga turned into smoke and sat in the car. Mm. We just started killing a nigga in the car. That was dope, but. Yeah. So back to conspiracy theories. Devin, you think the world is flat? I mean, do you see a curve when you go on the airplane? I yeah. Do you? Do you, do you not? Nah, I don't see no curve, bro. 
Now that you think of it, I don't really look outside. I only have the, <laughs> I don't have the uh, window. So you scared? That's all. No. Say, if you scared, just say you scared to look to have the window seat. No, I, look, I would <laughs> love the window you seat. Just say I always get the aisle it. seat. Cause you're scared. No, so you, you think of, you think the, like the the ring of ice, like around the flat Earth, is like a real thing too. And we're just like moving up at like however fast we are. See. This is where I don't get into. Yeah, because that's what they believe, right? Like yeah. it's it's a disc, <laughs> and the edge of the disc <laughs> that, that we live on is ice, yeah. and that's Antarctica or whatever. Something like that. Yeah. So yeah. Where, do you, where do we live on right now? We live on yeah. here, but we live on here. <laughs> I don't know. We live where you where think we, we at, live, yeah. right? Yeah, but yeah. it's flat. It's flat. it's flat. So all those yeah. pictures from NASA. You right should there? be telling me, bro. You're the flat <laughs> earther. I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> yeah. You tell me how the Earth is curved. How Explain to me how the Earth is curved. Okay. Can't explain that, huh? <laughs> gravity. I'm not even going to explain. <laughs> well, I mean, gravity, I've never, right? never been outside of the Earth to look at it and be like, yo, that's Earth. Exactly. But I mean, you've I never been out of it either to be like, that's flat. I'm just going to know that it's round, and I'm just going to see. Because they told you it was round. This goes back to the Truman Show. No, I'm just kidding. Exactly. <laughs> what does it accomplish? Like, just <laughs> this is what I think about when I hear that shit. Okay. First of all, how many people have to be in on this lie? Okay, first <laughs> of all, let's start there. What if everybody's in on the lie already? That so the like earth teachers? is already around. Okay. So all these people that have to be in on this lie, for what reason? What does it accomplish that you think the earth is round, flat or round instead of flat? I don't understand either. Okay, so then it's stupid. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck if the earth is round? <laughs> why can't it be flat? So why are you just trying it to... It could be whatever the fuck you want. It can be a, fucking it can't loop. Be a triangle. We could live on a fucking Cheerio, bro. Who knows? Nah. Oh, so that, that draws nah, a line nah, right nah, there? A Cheerio? Yeah, is the draw the line? Yeah, draw the line, bro. Okay. Can't live on a Cheerio. Flat. Okay, true. so is it... That's a, like living on a donut. Is it... If it's flat, is it a square? Is it a circle? What shape is it? That's yeah. true. It could be on a triangle as long as it's flat. And then what's on the other side? Hell. Yeah. Hell. Hell? Yeah. So hell's real? So explain gravity then. <laughs> There's no such thing as gravity. We're living on a flat earth. That just fell. Yeah? Yeah. How, why does it fall? Because it falls. Because Would you expect it to stay in the air? I mean, if gravity wasn't a thing. Wait, I mean, why would you expect something to stay in the air? Well, if you go to space. Yeah. That's in space. Okay. But space is not even real. How is space not real? Because we're flat. Because we're yeah. flat. <laughs> what are so you it's doing? all made up. <laughs> Everything's made up. Have you been to space? Have you been to space? Exactly why. Wait, hold on. Exactly. That's, that's what I gotta, I'm I gotta rewind here. So okay, I'm we're, saying. Talking, we're talking about conspiracy theories. Yeah. Do you believe we landed on the moon? Do you believe we landed on the moon? I do believe we I have don't now. Believe, I don't know I, if we I, landed back then. Yeah, exactly. But I know we have by now. Yeah, so, I think so. Too. I believe so too. Okay. Cool. So yeah. was the moon flat? So. <laughs> <laughs> do you see a round moon? I do in the sky. Yeah. So it's round. Do you see the back of the moon? Do you see like the curve in the moon? No. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's what a fucking circle, about? bro. What do you mean? Nah, it's a circle. It's a flat circle. That's okay. all you see. It has different sides on it. Every How time do you, you see the other it, side? Because what, what side do you see? What side do you see? Wait, wait. If we're what side of the moon do you see, fam? Wait, wait. So if if the underside of the flat Earth is hell, the under what's what's? what's I, the I was bullshitting with you. I was bullshitting <laughs> with you. The other side of the Earth is fucking hell. I don't know what the fuck the other side of the Earth is. It's it's a space. Atlas is carrying it. It's atmosphere. Atlas is carrying it. Oh God! It's atmosphere. Man. Atmosphere yeah. under, what under the flat Earth. Huh? What are volcanoes? Where do they come from? They're just earth pimples. That's all they are. No, yeah. That's God taking a fucking diarrhea shit. <laughs> what? Don't mention God in the F word in the same sentence. <laughs> Don't curse in the same sentence as you mention God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but yeah. um, yeah. I learned some flat Earth. I learned something new today. Definitely blaze some flat Earth. Yep, bunch of conspiracy. Theories. I don't know why my eyes like that, but bunch of conspiracy theories that I thought was interesting. I thought different was ones. Interesting. I yeah. like those ones about like Disneyland, like how hella people die and shit. Oh in yeah. Disneyland. I like the conspiracy. I like the conspiracy a... theory about a Disney. Uh, my fault. The Disney movies where it's like they said it was like hella penises and shit. Oh, there is. Yeah, there are. What? There are. Yeah, like yeah the, they, that's uh, what I heard they say. They said it was like hella penises on like the... There's hella like innuendo. Yeah. yeah. And uh, then like uh, on the cover of Little Mermaid, one of the towers. I think it's Little Mermaid. Yeah, it's Little Mermaid. Yeah, yeah the, one of the towers is like a penis. <laughs> and there's it's just wild. hella different shit like that. That's wild. So, uh, well, yeah. Oh, I, I used to watch a lot of like top 10 scariest places or whatever. It was I think there was one in China where they were, they were building a Disneyland, but it never got completely built. So it just like got overgrown with like 
nature and stuff. Mm. Now it's like haunted or something. Mickey Mouse over there and like. There's like actually a shit. place in. That's some wild <laughs> shit right there. I, it's like in the like <laughs> I don't know if it's in like it's Eastern Europe. All I know I don't know what country, mm -hmm. but they have a that whole close. town that they made the houses look like Disneyland castles, hmm. and it's all these like same identical Disneyland castles. And nobody lives there. Hmm. That's Nobody moved in. They I would definitely it. move up over there. Hmm. It's just, it's just empty, and it's like hundreds of them for miles. Damn, that should be dope. If we just like moved it, empty for miles. Just what living in Disneyland, nigga. The castle, nigga. I be having my own fucking castle. Yeah. Shout out to the Brooklyn Nets. We are gonna smack all y'all motherfuckers, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, wow. this ain't a sports podcast. This nigga's trying to skip over that motherfucker like a motherfucker. <laughs> Shout out to Brooklyn. Brooklyn Nets all day, motherfucker. <laughs> they going to choke in the playoffs, but all right. Uh, whatever, nigga. Whatever, nigga. Watch, it, watch the Knicks take them out. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> whatever. Shout out to D-Rose. <laughs> whatever. Fuck the Knicks. Well, this concludes this episode of Half That. Episode 29. Let's get it. Let's get it.